Starting off now by setting up your energetic pillar. Focus on the threefold flame in your heart. Expand your heart energy to six feet in all directions. Enveloping yourself with your heart energy. Connect this down to the heart of Gaia. And allow her to bring this energy up through your pillar with your own energy, your energetic signature up through your higher chakras to source. Forming your energetic pillar six feet in all directions from your center. And keep breathing in your own tempo up and down your pillar. Establishing a solid connection to earth, your grounding and source. As we ask for the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters and the karmic board to merge deeply and fully with us now through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for our God presences, our guides, our ascension councils work in harmonious group consciousness together. So the highest of the highest of the highest will be shown here today for all of us in our here and now. Yes, for Temple of Mother Guy grounding to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for Temple of Divine Union to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. Finally, calling on a God Presence Communion Temple to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. Feel how all these energies, energetic fields, energetic signatures work together now to raise your frequency, open your field as you place your attention in the God Presence Communion Temple. Find a spot in the temple. Have a seat. And connect to the large crystal at the center of the temple. Send your energy out through your 12 primary chakras to the crystal and receive from the crystal, establishing your connection to the temple more deeply. As you do so, fall deeper into your inner world, slowing down your brainwave activity, calming yourself down, slowing your breathing, opening up your receptivity. over any emotions in your field that have been lingering, any thoughts, any mind loops, any worries, any projections, either sending them down to the heart of Gaia for transformation or transmitting them to the crystal for transformation. As we are joined today by Ascended Masters Melchizedek and Pallas Athena. As they transmit their energetic signature through the temple, feel your presence, your soul, your energy bodies. Connect with their unique energetic signature now. Harmonize with them. Align with them. Relax. Just 
gently letting go of any feelings of anticipation, expectancy, worries or fears about what's to come. They share there is no need for any of that. Today's session, today's transmission is focused on soul and spirit contracts your soul and spirit contracts. Your mission, your role in your earthly incarnation. Why are you here? Really, they say. All of you here today, ponder these exact questions often. All of you here are at times desperate for answers to these questions. Why are you here exactly? What is your role? How can you fulfill your mission? What is your mission? As you came down, as this particular soul, in connection to your God presence, your spirit, your higher self, your divine presence, you came down for specific reasons at this time. As all of you are aware, These are very unique, energetic times. And you are here for a very specific reason. You have a very specific mission. And you have written all of this down in your soul contract before you moved your consciousness into the vessel you are in, aligning with the personality you have, the lower energy bodies making up your multi-dimensional energy bodies as connected to your earthly incarnation. You set out certain goals and milestones for yourself. And you did so for your entire projected life you're on earth at this time. Your spirit and soul used calculations around probabilities, taking into account too many factors to comprehend. How would the timeline evolve? How would the timelines evolve? What would the collective consciousness do? What 
would come into materialization, into manifestation based on all the push and pull energies in the earthly bubble, based on all of those calculations, projections from a place of no time. Your spirit and your soul as connected to your spirit came down into this earthly incarnation with a plan. But as is part of the game, part of the deal, part of the contract, part of the mission, you forgot and chose to and agreed to forget all about that. You blindfolded yourself before coming into this incarnation. Some of you chose to be born into this realm and your soul grew up from baby to child to teenager to adult others chose a different route the walk-in route there are many different versions of that route as well no matter what what is important is where you are now the origins of your soul's contract lie with your presence and soul and your ascension council assisting you to make an ambitious plan which factored in all of the known variables all of the known percentages of expectations based on what was known at that particular moment prior to the earthly incarnation and the linear time of that incarnation coming into effect. What's lesser known, and perhaps not as familiar to you in concept, is that your presence also has taken into account many different versions of the timeline. many calculations of other probable timelines, events that were likely to occur if the most probable timeline of your contract did not come into play. And your presence and soul Click into these different variations of your contract as you move forth. Another energy to be aware of is that your spirit and soul alter your contract based on the different variables coming into materialization. So a good way to oversee it all is there is a 
backbone, a red thread that runs through your life, through your soul's contract, but around that. A lot of different variables can change things, and they need to. If you are climbing a mountain, and all of a sudden the weather changes, you may need to change the gear you are using. You may need to climb a different route than you had planned to or had trained to. And this is where adaptation and being in the now moment with all your senses open is very important, Melchizedek and Pallas Athena say. Many of you understand you are light workers, you are healers, you are teachers. Many of you, if not all of you, understand you need to heal your own wounds, including dealing with your own karma on this journey. And you are guided very clearly step by step on how to move through these particular initiations as well. A lot of you, however, don't know the specifics of your mission, of your soul's contract. And how powerful would it be to get more of a glimpse into your soul's contract that you, as a soul and your spirit, written down prior to your incarnation that is up to date with all the changes occurring in the collective consciousness and all forces beyond the collective consciousness as well including all the solar energies and all the different parties involved in this game here on earth how powerful will it be to get an insight into your up-to-date soul slash spirit contract for the next three months, six months, twelve months, in 24 months. Understanding that from the moment you gain insight, things can change. However, the core will remain. The fact that you are climbing the mountain will remain no matter what route you end up taking, no matter what equipment you end up using. And so next to these understandings and insights, today's session is about you receiving as much clarity and insight as is possible around your soul contract, meaning your soul mission, and that includes strategic, tactical, and operational elements of your mission. Now that may sound very formal, it simply means short-term, mid-term, and long-term things you wish to accomplish. Who do you want to help? Who do you want to teach? Who would you like to heal? What projects would you like to start? Where would you like to start them on Earth? What would you like the result to be? Etc. Now all of you are guided very clearly moment to moment in any case. However, it can be very beneficial and feel very comforting know a little bit more about what's coming even if for some of you 
It's only glimpses. Every little bit helps. And for some of you, you will receive large downloads that immediately open up for you to access. For others, you will receive large downloads that will unfold day to day, week to week, month to month. Do not be attached to the unfoldment of this. Simply understand you are receiving these dispensations today, for it is your spirit that has guided you here, and it is your spirit offering you these dispensations. You will receive the current standing of your soul contract for three, six, twelve, and twenty-four months in this session. Understanding again that from the moment you receive it, things can start moving, shifting, changing, and reshaping themselves. So understand that in no way an attachment needs to be formed. See it as extra information, a roadmap, and extra guidelines. Alas and Melchizedek invite you to lay down now with your head facing the crystal at the core of the temple. Your Ascension Council stands around you now. And they will hold space for you to receive and unpack as much of the download as possible. For some of you, based on your energetic signature, the development of your energy bodies to date, it will be easier to access the download connected to the three months than to the 24 months. Yet for others, the longer term will be much easier to oversee because perhaps it is further away and there is less attachment. So allow yourself to learn a little bit more about how that works for you. Hold no attachments simply hold an attitude of every extra insight you receive into your soul contract current standing three six twelve twenty four months moving forward it can be very powerful for you aligning to the plans that your soul and spirit have set out for you in this earthly incarnation. You are here for a reason. You are not here to simply lead. A third density life. You are here as a star seed, a light worker, a healer, a teacher, a creator, etc. Breathing up and down your pillar now readying your field to receive the three-month soul contract download as matched to your energetic signature for your earthly incarnation now. Some of you immediately will see images, places, people. Some will move through different emotions, fear, worry, grief. Some will feel joy, happiness, elation. Others will simply feel energy moving in and through their energy bodies, allow any and all of this to move through. Some will be taken on specific mini journeys of receiving. And 
presence, spirit, will take this opportunity to line up the next steps very clearly. Be open to any of it and all of it. Alas and Melchizedek explain. Some of you will feel your energy shaking or will feel weightless, rocking side to side, feel disoriented. For those few of you feeling any energies around panic or deep constriction, allow Gaia to take these energies from you for transformation. This will mainly be for those of you that feel you have been in the dark for so long and you haven't been able to figure it out and there's a deep panic that you are way behind mission. Allow these feelings to move through with the deep understanding that what you will be receiving as your soul contract is aligned to your current earthly timeline, meaning that any backlogs have been processed as well. Another way of saying that is what lies ahead starts now without a huge pile of backlog. If spirit so deems it appropriate, spirit feels that your soul can still achieve a backlog so it will be still in the contract but allow the sense of panic to move away for your spirit oversees all Fifty percent complete now in receiving this first download. If your mind is getting in the way, trying to extract as much information as possible or trying to get answers to questions that you are desperate to get answers to, hand these over now. If anything, they will be getting in the way of you receiving the down comfortably and more clearly. Trust your spirit, trust soul, trust divine timing. Remember all variables, including the state, of all of your energy bodies, including your wounds and engines and karma yet to be moved through. What you have achieved to date is all being taken into account. Your soul contract is like a rolling dot. Ever changing, but holding a strong or in this very turbulent, changing earthly environment. A lot of elements can change in your soul contract versus a different time or space where there is not much changing. Your soul contract may be played out to a T in one lifetime on earth at this time especially so much is ever changing and the collective consciousness 
is a very unknown factor because there's a lot of pressure in a lot of different areas and how the pressure will be released is an unknown all that spirit can take into account is the many probabilities of the difference of the unfolding timelines and offer guidance on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, a continual hotline. If you allow your spirit to merge with you more and more and more deeply, as you raise in consciousness and allow your spirit to occupy your lower energy bodies, your vessel, more powerfully in deep connection with your soul. This hotline is always present, always guiding you, always up to date. 70% complete now. Take note of how this download feels in density. Does it feel light? Does it feel heavy? Does it create worries? Does it feel like a relief to finally know a direction? Feel these emotions and then hand them over again. Be the observer yourself receiving ninety percent complete now gently this first download is being wrapped up Take in the last part of that transmission. Understanding that it is the base ring, the base around which the other three downloads form themselves like throwing a rock in a pond creates ripples this is the first ripple like linear time on earth the next ring the next download is the projection six months out and this holds the plan all the way up until six months out, including the download already received. For the 12 month, one year download, this includes six months plan and prognosis and the three month plan and prognosis, etc. If the three month plan changes, so does the six, twelve, and twenty four month plan. So the one that is most certain at this stage is this first download. It is the base of what is known to date, understanding that in each and every moment, as Different weather systems can come in as you climb the mountain. The further out the plan, the further the point higher on the mountain, the more variables of change are involved.
your Ascension Council, circle around you, moves by a quarter turn, 90 degrees. As they ready your field to receive the six month download now. Keep breathing up and down your field as you notice how this one may feel different. Lighter, heavier, colder, warmer, different colors. You may feel it more aligned to the feminine energies to the left, the masculine energies to the right. You may get glimpses of initiations to come, karma to be processed, travel to be had, projects involved, groups connected. The team focuses on keeping your chakras open and receptive now. As some, if not many of you, have certain parts of your energy bodies that are constricting slightly. For when you came down, your soul and your spirit were very ambitious. When you came to Earth, at this time, you knew it would be a big run. It would be a big mission. You came here for some serious transformation to have a serious effect on the timelines. And so many of you will feel the constrictions that you are yet to move through around, perhaps feeling inadequate, perhaps feeling too small, feeling insignificant, feeling it is impossible feeling it is too stressful, feeling there is no way you can do or achieve that. Some of you will feel you may as well stop now. And all of these feelings over to your Ascension Council for Transformation. Understanding that your spirit soul as a team, feel, know and believe, you can do this. You will have everything you need to succeed available to you. People, resources, love, light, support from the teams, from Mother Gaia, for Mother Gaia. All you need to do is keep following your guidance. Keep trusting in yourself. 
keep being brave. You have done this many times before. This is not new for you. It only seems that way due to the blindfold. 70% complete now for this second download. Keep breathing deeply up and down your pillar. And remember, if the mind gets stuck and all these limiting thoughts over, all these questions, all these worries, all will be answered and shown to you in divine timing for you. And that timing will be very different for each and every one of you present here today. Notice some shaking up of your field now. Some twisting, turning, rocking, flowing, moving, rhythmic energies, shaking all of these downloads through and into your field. Simply surrender to this now as you receive. 90% complete now with this download. Sealing up this second download now. Take some time to breathe up and down your pillar and find a place of inner peace, inner harmony, connecting to the love, light, and empowerment within your heart. Just relaxing deeply, knowing that even though all this talk about missions and contracts is very serious to you, and all of those connected to your mission, your spirit and soul not forgotten about the joy and the peace and the harmony and the abundance and the play that you so deeply yearn for as well within your mission. A reminder that all of that is part of your contract. The joy being here on earth to the best of your ability at these serious times on this serious large mission is all incorporated. Your soul family around you, nature and Gaia around you, continual connection to your ascension council, your spirit, the teams around you, all of this is incorporated in your mission contract. It's not just about a hard slog because your mission is driven by your passion, your 
mission is driven by your excitement. Your needs and desires are fueled by your passion and your excitement. This is not meant to be a hard slog that goes against the core of what makes you happy and what makes you tick. In fact, it is the opposite. So where in this realm, mission, contracts and work may feel like hard slogs, you must remember that this particular contract is driven by your passion, your excitement and the core of who you are as an energetic being. Your energetic signature is very unique and it is these gifts that you have offered at this time within this realm to fulfill your mission and all that is connected to it. Your Ascension Council turns 90 degrees, a quarter turn. As they ready your energy bodies to receive the one year download. Again, meaning your soul contract for the year to come. In as much detail as is possible. With your spirit and soul lighting up the elements that you are ready to receive. And for some of you, that will be a lot. And for others, it will be less. No matter what you receive, it will be of great assistance for you and for your mission. Download starting now. Be the observer again. Does this download feel different than the previous two? If so, how? Does it feel lighter, further away, or more compact and dense? Does it create more bubbles of excitement and joy? Or are there feelings of fear and worry that need to be released with it? Remember to hand over any limiting emotions and thoughts to your team or Gaia for transformation. The third option is to hand these over to the crystal at the core of the temple for transformation. Melchizedek and Pallas Athena walk around now and spend some time with each and every one of you to kind of pulse and shake your energy bodies so these downloads become one with you so that they become one with each other merging perfectly, the three, the six, the twelve, and the twenty-four months, moving perfectly in one flow. And so that as much of this information as possible will be visible, attainable for you, to you. You may feel this as gentle rocking, or shaking of your field. 40% complete on the third one year download.
your Ascension Council starts to bring in very gentle swirling energies into your field. Assisting this soul contract to merge more powerfully with your pillar. Where Melchizedek and Pallas Athena focus on merging and connecting it with your 12 primary chakras. Specifically, your Ascension Council focuses on the connection, your pillar, and your energy bodies. Needless to say, it is all interconnected. 70% complete now. Breathing deeply up and down your pillar, if there's any nausea. Simply allow your chakras to be expanded slightly and keep breathing deeply up and down your pillar. If there's any disorientation, the same. percent complete now. Very gently the team starts spinning your energy bodies. This spin increases. While you receive the last 10% of this one year download. Just keep holding your center as you breathe up and down your pillar. Keep handing any limiting emotions and thoughts over. Including thoughts of the nature I'm not going to see or receive anything anyway. This is useless as always. I will remain in the dark, blindfolded on my mission. There is no real help or hope for me. Allow all of those really deep-seated emotions and thoughts and beliefs to leave now. It is time. And it is in fact those type of beliefs that have held back information that was always available to you, the team suggests. It is like having a very dirty window that you can't see through and all it took was cleaning the window to see the information on the other side. So for all of you feeling those type of feelings or recognizing that, allow your team to remove and transform these for you now. Sealing this third download up. Your Ascension Council spins 90 degrees a quarter turn, preparing your energy bodies for the fourth and final two-year download, starting now. If any of you are overwhelmed, expand your energy bodies and your pillar. Keep holding your center. Find a place in your heart and just relax and receive. Relax and receive. There's no need for you to know all of it now. There's no need for you to have seen it all during this session or felt it all. All of this will unfold over the next period, the next days and weeks and beyond. And you will get golden nuggets at perfect times for you because 
this contract slash these downloads in sections are being connected to your energy bodies, to your pillar more deeply than ever before. So they are becoming a part of you. And this means the information, even if it is ever changing, is readily available to you. And you will be able to access and receive more than you have been able to to date. Twenty percent complete on the final download. Most of you will notice some spinning around a horizontal axis to the left, back to the center, and to the right, back to the center, a fuller spin, 180 degrees, back to the center, etc. This will continue for a little while now. If you get disoriented, feel dizzy or nauseous, simply hand this over, expand your energy bodies, keep breathing up and down your pillar now. 40% complete. A reminder that this download contains the ripple furthest away from the rock in the here and now, meaning that this furthest ripple is most likely to change. However, its general direction will offer a potential timeline course up the mountain, and this will assist your lower energy bodies to process more options and be more ready for whatever changes come by that time. So it is also a preparation of seems to be the ideal plan projected two years ahead based on current circumstances. And so this will allow your energy bodies to be more ready to move with things as they unfold over those next two years. Seventy percent complete now. And as the final phase of this download continues, Your Ascension Council, your spirit, Melchizedek and Pallas Athena, start weaving the ripples together into one large soul contract with your multidimensional energy bodies. a lot of different colors, flows, technologies moving through you, around you. You may feel deeply sleepy and relaxed, full, fulfilled, satisfied, calm. Running over any last limiting thoughts, beliefs, and emotions.
expanding any areas of your energy bodies that feel constriction. Understanding that to fulfill your mission is your greatest desire in your earthly incarnation and that it will be your excitement, your passion, and your very clear guidance that will show you the way each and every step moving forward. Your Ascension Council completes the cycle by turning 90 degrees a quarter turn. We thank Melchizedek and Pallas Athena greatly for their assistance today. We thank our Ascension Councils, Mother Gaia and the Temples. up and down your pillar deeply now and gently bring all of your consciousness all of your awareness back into your here and now into your physical body ask for all this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with grace ease love light and empowerment again thanking Melchizedek Pallas Athena Ascension Councils and all others involved sending it down to the heart of Gaia so it may be accessible for all souls ready to receive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it. So be it. So be it. It is done. Many, many Many blessings for your amazing mission. <laughs>